people have been asking me, Brother Fox, what's the best way to save for my future? What's the best way to save for retirement? Is it a 401k? Well, if you have an opportunity to put some money in a 401k, I think you ought to. Brother Fox, is it, a, is it an IRA? If you can put money in an IRA, I think you ought to. Should it be a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA? Well, I, I prefer the Roth, and I've made a video telling you why I thought the Roth has uh, a very attractive offer in it. You can watch that video. So is it 401, uh, 401k? Is it, a, is it a 403b? Is it a IRA? Is it a SEP IRA? Brother Fox, what's the best? Is it mutual funds? Is it the stock market? Is it using Robin Hood? What's the best way? I'm going to tell you the best way. You know, because people are thinking, I could make a half a percent more here. I could make 2% more here. I could do it. Let me tell you something. The number one way. Well, see, people get all caught up thinking about all these ways, all these ways, all these ways, and they forget this one key ingredient. There's a key ingredient that I'm going to bring to your attention. Is it annuities? Is that it, Brother Bob? I'm going to tell you the key ingredient. <laughs> what is the key ingredient? I want to know, Brother Fox. Here it is. Put something in. If you never put anything in, you're not going to make any return. I'm seeing my friends debate, debate, think, think, calculate, 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 and they're not putting anything in. You got to put something in. You got to fund some vehicle. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the vehicle makes 40% growth. If you don't put anything in, you're not going to have any growth. You got to put something in. So let me talk to you about the best way to put something in. Make it automatic. Have it automatically taken out of your paycheck. Have it automatically taken out of your bank account. You make a deposit every single week. Somehow make it automatic and make it systematic. You know, well, I'm going to try to time the market. Nobody can perfectly time the market. We have this thing called dollar cost averaging. And all smart investors to some degree use dollar cost averaging. Of course, there's times that it's better than others to invest in the stock market or mutual funds. Of course, of course. But you can't time all that. You're not a prophet. <laughs> you don't know the ups and downs. You can calculate and think and, and try to forecast. It's only God that knows the future. So the two big things I'm trying to tell you today is number one, you've got to put something in. You can't just talk about it. You've actually got to do it. Remember the old saying, actions speak louder than words. <laughs> you've got to actually take some action. And then I'm going to tell you, it's systematic, automatic, regular funding that you need to do. Just like you pay any other bill, make it like a bill and pay it every week or every month or some systematic way. Every day, every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if that's what you want to do, whatever, do something. And more than anything, use your money for God. You want to make the best investment? It's in the work of the Lord. Why don't you do something big? Why don't you do something big in the cause of Christ? Why don't you buy a bus for your church? Why don't you uh, pay for 100,000 gospel tracts to be printed and given out in your city? Why don't you go down and buy a few cases of Bibles and give them to all of your neighbors? Do your giving while you're living so you're knowing where it's going. Yeah, I, I want you to fund all of these things for your future. You should do that. The Bible teaches to sit down and count the cost. 
The word retirement is not found in the Bible, but obviously as you get older, you can't work as hard. You need to save for the your future and you got to stop talking about it and you got to actually do it. That's the number one way to have something when you retire is you've got to actually put something in. Doesn't matter which vehicle. It, and if you don't put anything in, doesn't matter. There's better vehicles and you need to uh, learn and educate yourself. But you got to put your money in some vehicle. But don't forget to give in the cause of Christ. I hope these financial thoughts help you. May God bless.